sell it. Yay. All right. No longer over encumbered. Let's go. Welcome back, peeps. I hope you're doing good today. I am just... Oh, excuse me. Just slightly knackered. I, uh... I've been sleeping more than I normally have, being on this blood-thinning medication, and got to be on it for the next six months, so that hopefully this godforsaken blood clot will uh, dissolve in my bloodstream. Okay, how far do I have to go? Paper printer. Spread the space curtain. Goods are secure, Lilia Hagen should be pleased. Okay, got all those. Return to Graham. Okay, all I have to do is return to Graham. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I know I am. And as I adjust myself in my seat real quick, I hope you, uh, you lovely peeps are getting comfortable as well. Even though this video is only 15 minutes long. Still, if you're not comfortable, you're doing something wrong. You should always be comfortable when you're enjoying what you do. And for me, it's leaning forward with shoes on my feet that I forgot to take off. Oh, uh, hey, a marauder. Time to die. Oh, that's right. I kind of forgot. We're going to be starting a war between the Iconoclasts and uh, <laughs> the uh, NSI. I think it is. The, the people in the. Uh, I can't remember the town's name. Bugger. I saw it last episode, and now I can't remember it. I hate my memory, because I can't remember. But yeah, we're going to be starting a war. Or the war's already started, and now we've got to pick a side. I kind of want to side with the... Uh, the Iconoclasts, because after reading that terminal in the last episode, I now really dislike corporations. <laughs> I mean, treating their employees like that, it's terrible business it is. I used to work at uh, one of the Amazon fulfillment centers, and being part of a large corporation, it was, I know my first time there, I was just nervous, I wanted to do a good job, and the second time I was there, it was like, okay, I know what I'm doing, if anybody gives me grief, I'll just take, t take it up with the... Uh, Th their superiors <laughs> and for the most part it was okay the, the one thing that they kept coming to me about was oh peachy your rate is too low because you you have to be working and sort of making rate like a quota almost your quota is too low you gotta pick it up and they had to audit me I think three separate times because I I never met quota. I was, or I, not that I my, my quota was too low. How about that? And I was the lowest quota person 
in the whole division. And they kept saying, look, man, you gotta bring your quota up. And every time they audited me, I was like, look, I'm going as fast as I can, but there's too many constraints here. I mean, follow me for five minutes and you'll be, you'll see that I'm doing a good job, but it's out of my control. <laughs> and every single auditor who audited me was like, I don't see anything wrong. He's, he's doing everything correctly. He's following procedure. I can't, I can't write him up. He's doing everything correct. But they kept trying to audit me and fire me because of my low rate. And it was slightly amusing. But anyway, grab. I got your, uh, I got your printing press up. If you'll just listen. No, no more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? What's going on? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? If there are gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing out here. <laughs> the printing press is all yours. Excellent. Did you find the Vanoise? I did. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. <laughs> For now, you can tell Hiram that I'll stop using Devil's Peak. From the pits of our eternal souls. Thank you, Captain. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. But Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. But what about the gunships? Getting a mite humid here. I may have to meditate without the outfit. Oh? Uh, I have some questions for you. All right. Uh, never mind. Why have you come? I already told you. Goodbye, buddy. I wanted to learn more about the gunships that we potentially didn't see. Alright, where is my little... Oh yeah, I can go back to the broker now. But first, where is... Uh... What's her face? Is she coming? Let's see. Whoa! Short karma 18, melee weapon skills plus 10, defense skills plus 10. Plus backpack. What's it look like? Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Pair it up with. No, not that. Let me get my ranged weapon skills back. Yeah, yeah. So, is this where, uh, Zora goes? Yeah, Zora! You wanted to talk? Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Uh, it's a bit hazy. I came through Edgewater once, mentioned something to my dad about pirates wiping out a town. You mean this is the same place? Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. The Amber Heights Gate? Question mark? Right. The access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is... If this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, 
all those deaths, Captain. All that blood is on their hands. That's true. Why are we keeping this to ourselves? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. Okay. A random door code doesn't sound useful, though. I know it's a long <coughs> shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. What sort of answers? Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on it. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good, too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, they'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the Taros. So, we're gonna find the culprit of a massacre. This should be interesting. Wait a second, isn't there a... <gasps> there is! A workbench! Alright, I'm gonna take off... 0% Um... Okay, let me go ahead and repair you. Jesus! Didn't realize you were so low. Same with you, buddy. Okay then. Tinker, 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 tinker. Hey, I can tinker with my light machine gun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have the bits to do it. Uh, what else can I tinker with? Um, grenade launcher? Nah. I mean, I could. But I think I'll pass for now. Modify, though. I want to modify your... Muzzle. Let's see here. Speedy mate barrel. Oh, wow. Uh, fun times barrel. Crit damage goes up. Or reduced weapon sway. Kind of want to go with the rate of fire. Can I view stats on weapons? Yeah, I think I can. Let me check the stats. Rate of fire, crit chance, 20%. Baka. Uh, wow. Spread sway. 1 and 4. Five. So, if I put that other barrel on it, <coughs> sweet, it won't sway much at all. So I should definitely go with the speedy mate or the sway. I think I'll go with the speedy mate. Fire infinitely faster. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I actually can't wait to try this out. But that'll have to be in the next episode. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you watch the next video, whenever it comes out. Or if it's already out, it'll just be a few seconds for you. <laughs> I know, I know, you don't want to have to wait a few seconds, but that's, uh, that's life for you. 
a... I'll, I'll be there. Always. Choose. Alright, where am I going? 528 meters that way. Wait, no, that's the broker. I want to go to... That one. And that one is... 484 meters that way. 